Unveil the unthinkable. Witness the Red Hill Fuel Facility Inferno, an environmental nightmare. 43,000 forced to flee, Navy's water at risk. Join us to unravel the truth. In a startling turn of events, the world witnessed a catastrophic incident that shook the serene landscape of Honolulu, Hawaii. On the fateful morning of January 13, 2023, an inferno erupted at the heart of the Red Hill Bulk Fuel Storage Facility, casting a shadow of chaos over the island paradise. The blazing fire triggered an unimaginable chain reaction, unleashing a deluge of fuel into the environment, including the intricate water system vital to the Navy. With its tendrils of destruction, the fire compelled around 43,000 individuals to abandon their homes as a dire doomsday directive echoed from the Navy, a resounding order to avoid consuming the contaminated water within the affected perimeter. The flames were quelled on January 15, 2023, but not before irreversible havoc had been wrought. The insidious spillage mirrored the very essence of the Navy's water network, compelling the powers that be to silence its life-giving flow and substitute it with bottled alternatives for the distraught residents. Alas, the environment paid a heavy price as well, with aquatic life bearing the brunt of this environmental catastrophe. Amidst the smoldering aftermath, the origin of this malevolent blaze remains shrouded in mystery, a riddle yearning to be unraveled. All signs point to a welding contractor who inadvertently set in motion a sequence of events that led to this apocalyptic firestorm. The presence of volatile fuel vapors in the atmosphere only exacerbated the situation, causing the flames to rage with fervor. A monumental guardian of fuel for the U.S. Navy, the Red Hill Bulk Fuel Storage Facility stood sentinel on a hill, overseeing the splendor of Pearl Harbor. With a reservoir holding a staggering 250 million gallons of fuel, this relic from the 1940s had, over time, transformed into a wellspring of trepidation. It goes from 2014 revealed the Navy's concerns, underscoring the facility's vulnerability to catastrophic fires or explosions. As Hawaii grapples with the aftermath of these tragic events, an air of uncertainty and disruption envelops the once idyllic paradise. Questions about the facility's safety echo with urgency, as the Navy embarks on a daunting journey of assessing the wreckage and grappling with the cleanup. The timeline for the restoration of the water system's purity remains obscured, and the unthinkable looms on the horizon. The potential permanent closure of the facility. However, the tragedy's grasp reaches far beyond the confines of the Red Hill facility. Amidst Hawaii's lush landscapes, West Maui faced an unrelenting onslaught of wildfires, painting a scene of horror. The death toll has surged to 99 and the heart-wrenching search for remnants of lives shattered continues unabated. Among the fallen stand names etched in memory. Franklin Frankie Trejos, 68, a selfless hero who gave his life while aiding others, and Carol Hartley, 60, a cherished member of the Maui community whose life was extinguished amidst desperate evacuation efforts. In the face of such immense grief, Hawaii's governor implores patience and understanding. First responders toil ceaselessly, dedicating their time and space to identify those who have departed, to grant them the dignity of remembrance. Through this darkness, a unified plea echoes. May we never forget the stories that stand behind the numbers, the lives that have forever left their mark on this island tapestry.